My name is Jim Estes, and today I'm going to talk about a drill that I think is extremely important for the swing plane. So what I want you to do is, and this, by the way, is going to give you an instant understanding of exactly the feeling you want to have in the golf swing. Take a club. You can put a rod, alignment rod, in the grip, or I'm sorry, in the butt end of the golf club. Take the golf club, turn it like you're going to hold it, and then what I want you to do is take that club, put it right against your left hip, so you're holding both clubs here. Now you've got an alignment rod on the ground and a golf ball. And what I want you to do, getting into your good posture position, your weight over the arches, getting feel balanced. The insides of the heels are going to be about the width of your hips. Take a swing back, slow motion, and trace with that alignment rod the target line all the way up. The shaft should be parallel to your target line at the top. And then slowly coming down, trace the line. And do this in slow motion. Right into the impact position. So this is a great feedback tool, visual feedback tool, for learning the proper swing plane. Go right to your impact position. I encourage you to do this drill in slow motion. And if you have five minutes a day, if you do this drill every day, I guarantee you you're going to improve your golf swing. So again, I think you'll find this to be extremely helpful. JimEstesGolf.com if you have any questions. Well, watch me first. Watch this video because okay. I'm going to walk you through it. So you got a club here. Your left shoulder is going to move. Notice, I want you to exaggerate this. Your head's going to move to the right. Look how far I've moved my head. You'll never do that, but I want you to exaggerate that so you get in the habit of feeling like your head's getting over behind the ball. Now, watch the lower body bump here. I'm going to turn that left shoulder behind the ball. Now, there's the bump. The lower body goes forward. Now, the right shoulder is going to go down and toward the ball. Head stays behind the ball. Notice how my left shoulder is up, my right shoulder is down. Now I can release my head. Once my right shoulder is underneath my chin, I can release my head because I'm, I'm behind the ball. So let's go up to the top, bump, then release the chest. So it's one, get your upper body behind it. Two, let your lower body go first, bump. Three, bring your right shoulder down and toward the ball and then four you're going to release your head and come into your full finished position.